everyone and welcome back to Balance 360 and welcome to a 20 minute HIIT workout today. We're going to be doing 10 exercises, 2 rounds, uh, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. We're going to be working the whole body and we're going to be trying some new exercises today. So we're going to have to think a bit about some of the movements but hopefully we'll introduce those back into uh, future videos as well and we'll be doing more of them. So it's laying a good foundation. Guys, if you're ready, let's get cracking. Uh, let's start with a bit of a warm up and let's start with some high knees, okay? Here we go. Let's keep that pace nice and steady, nice and slow to start off with. Here we go, keep it up, getting our knees high though. That's it, nice and slow. No rush, let's just get warm, warmed up. Right guys, today you're gonna need just your mat uh, and some water, keep hydrated. We're going to take things nice and steady, nice and slow. We're going to go through those exercises pretty quickly today. So 10 exercises twice. So we'll go pretty quick for you. Try a few new ones so we're going to have to just take it nice and steady, okay? Here we go. So from here, let's just shuffle to the side. Nice and steady. Here we go. That's it. Good work, guys. Make sure you've got a bit of room. You can just shuffle. Just try to get a bit of movement in sideways today. That's it. A few more seconds of these. Good work, guys. That's it. We're just getting the heart rate up. Super. Good stuff. Right. Stand here. Just move our hips around. Oh, I've been really tight. My hips have been really tight recently. I'm just trying to warm those up, get a bit more flexibility in them. I'm going to go the other way. Just becoming really aware of having to look after my back and my hips. Okay, a few more of these. That's it, nice and steady, nice and slow, just warming those joints up. Okay then, a few chest openers and we'll get going in 30 seconds. We're going to start simply, just going to start with some air squats. Super simple. We know these. Just going to do 30 seconds of air squats. Normal position. So our feet shoulder width apart, up and down. Okay guys, in 15 seconds we're going, okay? Get yourself ready. Make sure you've got some room, you've got some water. We're nice and warm. Let's get to it. Here we go, here we go. Five seconds. Ready? That's it. So, down and then up. Okay, so we're doing two seconds down, one second up, okay? Controlling that downward and then up. Chest nice and high, shoulders back, pushing our bum out, keeping the weight in the back of our feet. See, pushing our bum out and up. So it's nice and controlled down and then explosive upwards. Good work guys, well done, well done. Let me just adjust this slightly. There we go. Whoa. Midway through adjustments, nice and technical. Right, next one, mountain climbers. Again, super simple. You can do these on your mat if you want. High plank position, knee to elbow. Again, keep that pace nice and steady. No, don't go off too quickly, okay? So, high plank position, here we go. Okay, knee to elbow. So you see, bump down, keep your back straight. Again, you see we're not going really fast here, just keeping it nice and steady. Really engage that core as well. That'll help keep your bum down, keep a nice strong posture. Your weight's going to be over your hands. That's it, good stuff guys. Good work. Two down. Uh, next one, narrow squats this time, okay? So we're just changing up the squat a bit here. We're just going to be working the joint a little bit in a little bit of a different, uh, a different plane of motion. Just bringing it a little bit narrower. So instead of always doing this, I mean here, we're just going to narrow our stance and we're just going to work our muscles and our joints in a slightly different way. Just getting them to think um, and expand, essentially. So here we go. Down and then up. Same thing, nice and controlled. Down and then up. Okay, you might have to just be a little, take it a little bit slower, because it might be a little bit strange for you. Your centre of gravity 
has narrowed somewhat. Okay, but again, it's the same. Keeping my chest up, pushing my bum out, keeping the weight in the back of the heels. Good work, guys. It might feel a bit strange for some people who've only done normal squats before, but again, what we try to do sometimes is bring them narrow, bring them wide. Again, it's just getting the joints and the muscles to think differently and expand their, their sort of range of motion, essentially. Right, next one. Uh, Inchworm press ups. Right, here we go. From the standing position, we're going down, press up, and then up. Okay? Stay with me, okay? So, hands on the floor, walking out, down, and then up. Okay? So, hands on the floor, down, and then back up. We're hinging at the hip, so bring, coming down onto our hands, walking out to the press up position, press up and then back up. This is where it starts to get a bit more interesting from our normal squats and single sort of movements. We've got to think twice here. So down, last one. Up. Walking back in. There we go. We're moving stuff on. Okay? So intro and press ups there. We'll do another round of those. We're going to start to be building those into our future workouts as well. Right, next one. Our alternate reverse lunges. Again, We've done these before, so chest nice and proud, shoulders back, and we're just stepping back with all turn legs, okay? Not hitting our back knee on the ground. Okay, here we go. So keep that back knee half an inch or so above the ground. Weight in the front foot, driving up with that front leg, okay? Keeping my chest nice and proud. Good work guys. Again, just take it nice and easy with this. You don't want to be losing balance. You don't want to be smashing our back knee down onto the ground. Good work. Well done guys. Okay, next one. Keeping in the lunge family, we're going to do again a curtsy lunge. So, pick side, either side, doesn't matter. And we're just going to go back foot around, bring the knee down and then back up. Keeping that standing foot as well, weight is, and keeping that in the same place, okay? So again, we're just getting our muscles and joints to think differently here. So take it easy if this is the first time you've done this. So make sure you keep your balance, we don't want to be doing, causing any injury, okay? So just bring that back foot round, down, and then back up. Round, down, and back up, okay? Don't overstretch. Oh, there's my balance talking, not focusing. There we go. So be careful of your knees as well, so don't overstretch back. Because remember, this front leg is staying in the same position, so we don't want to over twist that. Okay? Just nice and easy. Last one. Good work, guys. Okay. So, again, we're going to do a bit of a combination now. So, jumping jacks and punches. So, we're going to be doing four jumping jacks. Two, three, four and then a jab and cross. So jab, cross, jab, cross, okay? So four jumping jacks, four punches, two sets. So two jabs, two crosses. Jab, cross, jab, cross, okay? Stick with me, we'll do it in a nice steady pace together, okay? So one, two, three, four, jab, cross, jab, cross. One, two, three, four, jab, cross, jab, cross, okay? One, two, three, four, jab, cross, jab, cross. One, two, three, four, jab, cross, jab, cross. One, two, three, four. Oh, good work. Got myself in a bit of mud on that first one. Just need to get the rhythm. Hopefully you're all right there. <laughs> but yeah, just doing, sort of putting the two together, four jumping jacks, four punches, We'll do another round of those, okay? I quite enjoy those. Next one, curtsy lunge, the other side. So if you were going left before, go right this time. If you're going right, go left. Okay, so with this one, same thing, same technique. This is our standing leg. We're just going behind that and lunging. So, okay, just making sure we're taking it nice and steady. We're not overextending and causing any injuries to our, to our knees or our legs or anything. Again, keep your chest up. That will help with your balance. 
The weight's in this standing leg, okay? So if you're cutting to the right, your right leg is your standing leg. That's it, all good stuff, guys. Well done, well done, well done. Okay, next one. This is courtesy of a mate of mine, John Hoskin, who I train with. He loves frogs, he does them all the time with his uh, metabolic London workout. So I thought I'd give it a whirl today. I've been practicing, don't think they're as good as his, but let's see. So a frog up is this. Okay, so we're putting our hands down, high plank position, bringing our legs in and bringing the hips through and our arms up, okay? So, high plank position and then we're going, okay? So we're bringing our hips through and then coming and bringing our chest up. Okay? John obviously does this much better than I do. But we just think about bringing the hips through, chest up, okay? That's what we want. Not easy, I know. I'm testing you, I'm testing you. John makes them look so easy. But I uh, thought we'd integrate those in today. They're great, they're getting the heart rate going, even if you've done about five or six of them. So well done, guys. Okay, last one now. Get your mat, simple plank, elbow plank, okay? Just gonna let our, regulate ourselves, breathing a little bit here. Just spend a couple of seconds on the floor. Elbow plank, okay? 30 seconds, so. Back nice and straight, bum down. Just engage the core. And just some nice deep breaths before we do the second half, okay? Here we go. Good work, guys. We are nearly halfway through. Halfway through. We've done some new exercises as well, introducing those in. Good work, guys. Okay. Oh, I'm sweating already. Those froggers. Those damn froggers. Oh, I've seen him do them and I thought, right, we're going we're gonna to try and build those in. Oh, yeah. How are you finding things? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Easy, hard, easy, hard. How are you, how are you finding it? Right, guys. Round two, let's go. Air squats. Here we go, okay? So nice and controlled down, driving upwards. Keep that weight in the heels. If you want to be able to wiggle, wiggle your toes. If your weight is truly in your heels, you can wiggle your toes while you're doing this. Okay, chest up, shoulders back. So keep the knees nice and stable. Good work, guys. Sit back on your bum. Super, fantastic. Right, mountain climbers. Again, with these, just keep a nice, steady pace, okay? Don't worry too much about hitting your knee with your elbow. Just keep that pace nice and steady, okay? Keep the bum down, keep the weight over your hands, and you'll be golden. Right, let's go, let's go, here we go. High plank position. Right, knees to elbows. Keep that bum down. Again, it's a nice steady pace we've got here. Engaging the core as well. Now, see, guys, well done. Halfway through. Ten more seconds to go. Here we go. Great work, guys. Well done. Okay. So, from our Normal head squat before, we're now going to go back into our narrow squat, okay? So feet much closer together, and we just go down and then up. Same principle, nice and controlled down, weight in your heels, chest up, and then driving back upwards, okay? Center of gravity is narrow slightly, you know, so we have to be a bit more aware of our balance, so just take it easy, okay? Here we go. The same principle, okay? So, weight in our heels, bum out, and then driving up, keeping our chest up. Okay, 
Just concentrate on the movement a bit now. Just be aware of your balance, okay? So we just take this nice and easy. Good work, guys. Well done. Last one. Super. Right. And we start getting into the interesting stuff now. Our intro and press ups. How did you get on last time? Tell me. So, in our standing position, feet slightly wider than shoulder width. So I'm sort of a bit like this just to give myself some perks some, some stability. Bending down, walking out with my hands down to the press up and walking back. Okay? Super simple. Here we go. So down onto my hands, walking out, press up, walking back up. And then up we come. Okay, down, press up, walking back. Okay, essentially walk out with a press up. There we go. Okay, down, walk our hands out, press up, walk our hands back in. At all times you are stable. Okay. There we go. Oh, that must be a new one for some people, okay? But if you're taking it easy, and you're then being nice and steady, not going too fast out, too fast in, you are stable at all points when you're doing that crawl out and crawl in, okay? Try and integrate that into your workout, something to work on, okay? Really good for your core, good for the chest, just making life a bit more interesting than a normal sort of presser. Uh, next one, reverse lunges. Here we go, so chest out, just lunging backwards. Good stuff guys, okay? Keep that chest up, that will help with your balance. Keep your head up. Okay, don't smash that back knee down on the ground. Keep nice and balanced. Again, you don't have to be on a straight line when you're doing this. Your legs will be either side of that line. Okay? Good work guys, well done. Uh, Curtsy lunge next. We are on the home straight. Oh, make sure you're taking on some water, guys. Keep hydrated. Mmm. I am warm up. It's only 15 minutes in. I am warm. Oh, good work, guys. Hope you're enjoying this one today. It's a bit, bit different from usual. We're just going to mix it up. And um, right, so curtsy lunges. Here we go. So pick a side. That's it again. Keep your chest up. That will help with the balance. We're just bringing up our outside leg round the back and curtsying over, okay? Our standing leg is staying still. That's where the weight is happening. That's what's driving us up in the second phase of the movement, this movement here, okay? Good work, guys. Well done. That's it. So this, the our standing leg, which is the, I guess, the inner leg to the movement, is our, where weight bearing is happening. That's where we're driving up from, okay? And we want to keep our chest up and just keep the balance. I know it's probably difficult, but we'll do more of those. And as you get the, you get the, uh, the movement more ingrained, it will become part of your, your muscle memory, hopefully, and become a lot easier. Right, jumping jacks and punches. Let's get this right. Four jumping jacks, four punches. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Jab, cross, jab, cross. One, two, three, four. Jab, cross, jab, cross, okay? One, two, three, four. Jab, cross, jab, cross. One, two, three, four. Jab, cross, jab, cross. One more. One, two, three, four. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Oh, good work, guys. With these punches, I'm right-handed. So I'm crossing with my right hand. So I'm jabbing with my left, crossing with my right. If you're left-handed, southboard, you're gonna be doing it the other way around, okay? So you're gonna be jabbing with your right hand, crossing with your left. Doesn't matter, do it either way, okay? It's just getting four punches in. Two with the right hand, two with the left hand. Right, curtsy lunges on the other side. Here we go. So across, and then driving up with that inner leg, where the weight is, okay? Stay nice and still, you see? Chest up. Just keeping my knee 
half an inch above the ground, it's not hitting the ground. Just bring it a bit behind, okay? Just be careful, don't overextend in these if you've not done them before. And what I mean by that is don't go too far out that way. Good work guys. Hopefully you found that. It's probably ignited a few muscles where you're thinking, hmm, not sure I've used those before. So just be careful, okay? Just be careful when we're doing those exercises for the first time. The more you do it, obviously, the more range of motion, the more range you can extend to and the easier it become, the stronger you'll get. Practice, practice, practice. Right, froggers, he's talking. Five seconds. Okay. So, in the high plank position, up we come. Okay, bringing that hip and chest up with our hands. Okay. Good stuff, guys. These are hard. Here we go. Bring that chin through, bring the chest up. Last one. Oh, I'm feeling that. Oh, again, probably not as good as John's, but practice makes perfect, right? Oh, let me know how you find those. Okay, let's finish off. One more exercise. Elbow plank, 30 seconds. Let's regulate our breathing. Let's engage our core. Nothing else to think about. Here we go. That's it. Nice and still. Okay, keep our bum down, back nice and straight, and just engage that core, just focus, okay, focus. Last one, guys, 15 seconds, push through, you can do it. Here we go, stay with me. We're done, 20 minutes. Oh, I am warm. I don't know about you, that was, I really enjoyed that. Oh, I know we only did two of each exercise, but I tried to put in some of my favorites in there and a few new ones. Let me know how you found the new ones. Those down the froggers are hard, aren't they? I've seen people do them and they're, they're not easy. But again, with all of these, just take it easy, right? Take it super easy. Understand the technique, feel strong in the technique, and then you can build up the pace from there, all right? We weren't counting how many reps we were doing or anything like to that, that today. It's literally just trying to get the technique right. And even trying to do that, you'll get a sweat one, okay? <laughs> so guys, stay with me. I'm just gonna do a quick warm down. Just stretch it out, just get our, regulate our breathing, bring our heart rate back down nice and safely. A few minutes, just stay with me, definitely worth doing. Just want to make sure we look after ourselves, okay? So, in this position, I'm just going to sit back onto my heels. I'm going to come down and I'm going to walk my hands out. I'm just going to feel that stretch in my back and in my glutes, okay? Oh, honestly. It's really, I know it's dead boring to sit there and go, oh, I'll talk about stretching and maintenance, all this kind of stuff, but honestly, if you wanna be able to do these workouts regularly, feel okay, feel good, feel like you, you, know, you wanna zip about, taking two or three minutes to warm up, two or three minutes to warm down, will really start to make a difference. Just build it into your routine. Okay, and then from here, come from to our hands and onto our toes. Okay. Gonna sit down back onto your heels, bring your head through, try and straighten your legs. Just feel that stretch in the back of your legs. Okay, hold that for a few more seconds. And then come on down, put our pelvis on the ground, our head up. We just sort of feel that stretch through the front of the body. Keep the weight over our hands. Look up to the sky if you can. And hold that for a few seconds. Oh, feeling that today. 
Okay, good work guys, and then up onto your feet. Spring our arm across, just stretch out the upper part of our body, our shoulders. Again, even if we didn't overuse our, our upper body, I still like to just do these as kind of maintenance stretches. I did a workout earlier in the week which was upper body and I can certainly still feel it, so just building these into every workout I do just helps just keep that. Keep things moving, trying to maintain the muscle length. That's what the aim is. Okay, and then just between my hands, between my shoulder blades, and pulling over my elbow. And then other hand. Hold that for a few more seconds, and then we are done. Oh. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed that. Again, some new exercises in there, some really some old foundation ones as well. We're trying to mix it all up, make it interesting. If you liked that, please check back on the YouTube channel for more. Uh, click the thumbs up, subscribe, do all of that kind of stuff. Uh, visit www.balance360.com as well um, to see the ebook and uh, all the stuff on there. And look, I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks, guys.